peace of the gods and goddesses. Uh, Prince Sean Akinan, uh, Hip Hop Elvis, Notorious G.O.D. Uh, love, peace, and paper, if you didn't know. This is Pink Eye, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's the divine feminine goddess Ankh, right? You know, the ovaries, the womb creation, right? Bringing her back, you know what I'm saying? Bless up, everybody. Uh, We're going to call in the divine feminine uh, God, woman energy in here. Uh, Big Mama's love energy to come in and permeate um, this cipher here, this circle. Uh, We're going to call in all our divine gods, Mother, Father, God, um, Ascended Masters, uh, all our divine ancestors and helpers, uh, bliss up. And uh, we just welcome you into this space. It's a divine space. I call for everybody's higher self right now. I actually do that every day I wake up. So uh, when people meet me, um, we meet in, on a divine level, whether they want to or not. You can have bad intentions, but when you get to me, um, you're going to straighten up. Even if you want to act bad, you're going to get right when in my presence. It's just what happens, you know what I'm saying? So... Uh, it's a strange phenomenon. I spent my whole life, you know. And then, you know, I went through a stage where I actually um, tried to switch up <laughs> and be like how everybody was being because everybody seen me um, in this certain light or whatever. And I was like, man, I'm, what? I'm I'm, I'm a mess like you. I'm, a, You know, I got pain like you. So I wanted to show that, you know, that type of energy. So I went through a, the dark nights of the soul, you know what I mean, that was for a minute, I went, mine was for a minute, man, matter of fact, I want to say, I ain't really have a break when it come to this dark night of the soul, thing with Tracy, you know what I'm saying, I, my, it's been, you know, that means, you know, I've been clearing a lot of karmic energy from my past lives, you know, I had a lot of work to do, you know, and, uh, you know, one of the missed teachings, 222 on the clock, I just seen that, but Miss Teachings is that Jesus Christ, Sananda, you know what I mean, the great one, is going to come and clean up your mess for you. And that's a big lie, you know what I'm saying? The truth is you got to clean up your own mess. You got to do the work. But it ain't as hard as you think. We all got divine gods. The word nigga, as it's been given to me, is infinite intelligence. God got angels as well as infinite intelligence. God has got angels, right? So... Uh, if you if you embody the energy of God, and you know you got angels. You my nigga, I love you. All that racist dead. What's up? Peace to my niggas. Uh, all the infinite intelligence gods that got angels out there, calling your gods and your assistants to help you, and ask them to help you get your mind right. You know what I'm saying? Get your body right. Um, clear. Help you clear uh, this karmic energy from past lives and all of that. So. And then they'll begin to assist you. You have not because you asked not. You didn't know you had guides. You didn't know you was a God that had angels. So being God is cool. But what is God? How does God operate? And God thinks. And God is a thinker. So uh, that's what God does. You know what I mean? God thinks. And thinks uh, uh, in the loving from love first. So we just left the karmic energy which was created in the Atlantis time, times during the Atlantis period, where we brought in karma um, as a tool to use uh, do, for this to this time. But karma is really just a concept and idea. Uh, we back into the law of the circle, uh, the law of love, right? So everything that starts with love is going to end with love. We always created and started with love. So back to the law of the circle. It all starts with love and ends with love, whether you know this or not, revelation to you. Now, today's message was really more about um, the divine uh, masculine and feminine and the counterpart, divine counterpart. And uh, we talk about soulmates and all that stuff, you know. So it's, this has been broke down to me, right, from my gosh, from Archangel Michael, uh, Christ and then the Mary Magdalene, Christ and uh, Christ, Mary Magdalene, you know what I mean? She was a Christ as well, his equal. Uh, more powerful though, you know what I'm saying? The the God woman is more powerful, uh, but they still equal, you know what I'm saying? So 
meaning that what they bring to the table balances everything out. They very, very uh, powerful, the God, woman, divine energy, feminine energy. It's our creative energy, you know what I'm saying? So uh, as creators, you got to operate in your divine feminine energy if you want to really be a true creator. Now, uh, we've been talking about this soulmate thing and the thing about having a divine counterpart, especially the 144,000, which has been instructed me, is 144,000 master teachers on earth. And so I'm a master teacher. You know what I mean? Divine uh, feminine energy master teacher, right? Uh, because we know it's energy. The men come in, men come in, get their astrological uh, feminine energy. Women come in, get their astral masculine energy. And then your true birthday is when you touch the ground. And that's three months after you're born, your born date, 90 days later. Uh, that's your opposite energy so my masculine energy is gemini and i had just realized that about two years ago and so i could start working in that energy but that wasn't natural for me because i was working in my feminine energy because that's what all men is coming down in and uh part of this game here uh as souls if we don't enter and understand that there is a uh, uh, reincarnation that this incarnation, uh, everybody switch on the inside, meaning that you wearing the face of your beloved. So somebody is wearing your real, the face you was just wearing in your last life that you was living. They got your body, you switch bodies. So, you know, uh, that's why I love you so much, uh, Prince Sean. You are beautiful. You are so fucking handsome to me. You know what I'm saying? You got swagger. Nigga, I love you. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, and this is from my feminine, divine feminine energy speaking to me. Right? And so when I found that, that I'm wearing the face of my beloved, and I said, you know, I always said, man, if I was a woman, who would I be? And I'm like, I got to be at the top. I would be at the top. Huh? I just feel I would be at the top. And so whoever you think is at the top, man, you know what I mean? So for me, you know what I mean? That's a special somebody. So she know who she is. So I was like, that. that's how I would be moving if I was living as a woman. That's who I would be, right? And just so happened that she is me. That is, it was no strange happenings. Why I seen it, I was like, yo, that's me. Because it is, right? You fall back in love with yourself, man. That's my face, right? So I can't help but love myself and love me. So I'm calling me back to me. It's just like wearing a pair of shoes and somebody, you got the left shoe and you've been walking around your whole life trying to match shoes. You finding right shoes with, you can find in the, it's like I got the yellow Kobe's on, right? Bliss up the God. Uh, and they got Kobe's in all colors. So imagine you just got the yellow Kobe and you got a blue or black one for the right. I mean, yeah, you know, you swagging shit up, but you do at some point want to put the other matching yellow joint on. And so I've been on that search and it's like I found it, but somebody had that motherfucker on. And so I had to be like, I need that mom. Hey, run that, man. That's my shit. It fit. It fit. It's my size. It's my look. It's the only one. What are you talking about? You know what I mean? So the pair of shoes I've been given ain't nobody on Scott. And so that's what your divine counterpart is, is she the right side, you know, and you the, the man is the left shoe. She the right shoe. And get your shoes together, man. Put your shoes on. I'm trying to get both my shoes, man. Motherfuckers get right around my shit. Give my shit back. Trust and believe that. I saw the way now. I know that. But the divine counterpart is going to do that. It's going to balance you out left to the right uh, situation. Uh, so that's what the opposites attract. You know what I mean? You don't need two left shoes. You know what I mean? So I done found a shoe that wanted to be like me that's, that's, that's uh, similar in color. And the left shoe, though. I don't need that, you know what I'm saying? But it was a off yellow. Actually, it wasn't even the same. So let's get let's be real. Uh, but anyways, uh, so uh, 
your divine counterpart is going to embody and carry the codex, right? The codes that once y'all activate, it's going to take you to the next level. So um, once you complete your work right now here in this stage, right, um, and become whole and send it, you could uh, finish uh, completing your mission, um, your work as a defensive player, but the offensive players have to do their work, and then y'all got to come together and win the game. And so me, I'm mastering my, you know, defensive strategies, energy, right? And I'm waiting for this offense to come in and match so I can have a winning offense and defense. I've been doing both, but it's draining me. So my counterpart is going to come in with a perfect offense, and then I'm going to keep as a defender, I'm going to keep them uh, fresh, you know what I mean? Because we're going to be punishing this other team on this other side. So I got my shit together. And so uh, I'm not trying to figure that out, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what it is, me being this a man right now, I'm not chasing women, you know what I mean? I'm 50. Uh, also, it's taught that the male, the male, now this is just being a male, that your mind ain't going to develop uh, or this see Adam. It's not going to really wake up until you're about 50, right? And so, um, I'm 50. I'm up. You know what I mean? I've been doing the work. Now, if you ain't been doing the work, it could be longer. That's why you got a lot of old young fools, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they carry themselves a certain way. Now, my swag is fresh and brand new. Don't get it confused. I'm just being myself. I like fresh shit, fly shit. If I'm wearing some shit, nobody got it. So I'm being me. I'm 50. Uh, but I'm 50 earth years. But I'm way fucking older than that, right? <laughs> Peace to the gods. Back to this divine counterpart. But we talking about the codes, man. And so it was revealed to me, the codex, right? That I got the codex, right? I got the codex, right? Like, I got the chip. In my DNA, right, as the male. And my feminine, she like the hard drive, actually. And then I add my software, right, even though she's soft, I'm right. But boom, this information in this codex is going to awaken her God quality abilities now, right? And vice versa. So the next stage, uh, you're going to need that divine counterpart so they can activate the codes, the code X. So the men got to find that woman. You connect. Boom. And there's nobody else that got the chip that you got that she got until y'all connect. So that's what's going to be happening. That's why it's always like, you know, it's like trying to connect, uh, uh, iPhone charger to the Android phone and vice versa. It's just not going to work. Even if you could jam it in there, it's not going to do nothing. Uh, so that's kind of what's been happening. And sometimes you can get a power cord that fits, but it's not made for your phone. It's an off-brand. And so it's not running efficiently, too. So it's a lot of details when we look at uh, connections, right? So this next connection code codex connection man this is the codex connection man we're talking about right here divine counterpart so most people don't know about the codex connection man and the codes man and divine counterpart and so they out here missing and just talking but my divine guys have taught me and instructed me i don't have this ain't my opinion this is from the divine god is talking to you right now um i laid it down a long time ago uh about two years ago I stopped getting out of bed. I said, um, God, you got to be my eyes, my ears, my mouth, my feet, my hands. You got to be everything because I can't do it. I can't. Um, because last time I had the juice, it got loose and I fucked up, right? So that's a whole nother story. But I just turned it all over. I said, you got to do it. I, you got to do it. So I stopped getting up and the divine started getting up ever since. So you argue with me, you argue with God. Period. That's what my divine instructors told me to instruct you. Because I don't have an opinion. I don't. I just use the universal law. Uh, uh, the law of love, peace, and abundance. If it's not about that, what are you talking about? So I don't have an opinion. 
uh, I'm just a messenger and I'm allowing the divine to co-create and to flow through me. I'm allowing the flow to come through me, you know. So once you do that, you know, like me, I don't argue with nobody, you know, because then again, I'm arguing with the divine because all is one, all is itself. And this is uh, the law of the circle and under and inner and over and outer standing, as I say, uh, that we must uh, wake up to. Your divine counterpart, you got the codes. I got the codex. When we connect, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be what it's supposed to be. Get ready. Hello. Divine counterpart, soulmate, codex codes. Get them, connect with them. Uh, enter, uh, enter over and out of stay what that is. Uh, uh, digest that information. Ask you guys, the uh, divine guys to assist you. Again, calling upon the divine. Uh, ask a person. Just ask them to throw them off. Are you with the light or the dark? Because nobody with the dark is going to say they with the light. They can't. It's just not going to. You're going to be a lie. And you can't lie right now. You know what I mean? If I wasn't God and with God and God wasn't using me, I'd get rebuked quickly. So day by day, that's getting stronger. So you can't play. The, the game, the plan is over each day. The limitations on your behavior, if you're not acting in love, peace, and abundance, is going to be very restrictive and hard and painful. It's going to get painful to operate in negative energy. By the second, it's, it's happening like this. So if you even think crazy about me, you might get a headache or whatever. Because, again, you are, you hating on God, right? You a hog, right? <laughs> Don't be a hog. But let's connect to this energy, man. Um, all the guys out there uh, operating in a divine feminine energy, find them three months later. Mine's is uh, March, April, May. Boom. Gemini, that's how you find what your uh, true birth date is. That's your true birth date. That's your true birth date for your birth certificate as well. So this is law. This is uh, actual law, right? Right? No, this universal law. So on top of that, and everything is governed by law. Everything. There's not one thing that has not been sanctioned on this planet, right? And contracted. Even the experiences you've been having, things been done and you've done too or whatever, it's all been contracted and approved by the divine, by yourself. You signed on the dotted line. You just ain't found that out. You don't know nothing about your divine plan yet. That's a whole other conversation. But divine counterpart, let's connect. I got the code. I got the code eggs. Peace to the gods.